to the Sonali Fogat death case, the Goa police has charged two of her staff members under Section 302 of the Indian Penal Code. Now, Section 302 encompasses a murder charge. This comes after the autopsy report mentioned that there were blunt force injuries all over her body. Remember, she passed away on Tuesday, and when she was rushed to the hospital, it was declared that she died due to a heart attack. But her family claimed that Sonali did not die of natural causes. They instead said that she was murdered. अभी 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 पोस्टमार्टम उसका चल रहा है कल उसके रिलेटिव्स उसके भाई और अन्य रिलेटिव्स आए उनके स्टेटमेंट वगैरह रिकॉर्ड हुए आज उन्होंने फॉर्मल कंप्लेन दिए जिस पर मर्डर का मुकदमा 302 ऑब्लिक 34 एफआईआर नंबर है इसका 134 बटे 22 पुलिस स्टेशन अंजना में दर्ज करके तफ्तीश शुरू कर दी गई है डिसीज के ब्रदर ने बताया कि उसका जो साथी पीए सुधीर सांगवान और उसका दोस्त सुखविंदर ने उसको काफी दिनों से कुछ उसके खाने वगैरह में मिला रहा था और उनको शक है कि उसकी हत्या की गई है और उन्हीं के स्टेटमेंट पर यह मर्डर का मुकदमा दर्ज किया गया है अब तो जैसे ही रिपोर्ट्स आएगी वहां से और यहां उन्होंने चंडीगढ़ भी भेज रहे हैं और परिवार के लोग भी आएंगे तो जैसा परिवार संतुष्ट होगा वैसा हम करेंगे क्योंकि ये चीज हमने तो उसकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन के लिए अपना एक विषय रखना है उन्होंने वहां कहा है मीडिया में कहा है लेकिन हमको लिख के देंगे उसके बाद ये विषय आगे बढ़ेगा क्योंकि इस बात को केवल मीडिया के माध्यम से हम करें कल को हमको पूछने वाला होगा इसलिए निश्चित रूप से परिवार के लोग जब आके जैसा करेंगे वैसा हम करेंगे उनके परिवार काफी संगीन और लगा रहा है और इसकी उच्च स्तरीय जांच की ही जानी चाहिए ताकि जो सच है वो सामने आ सके हाँ नहीं करनी चाहिए गोवा सरकार को इसकी जांच करनी चाहिए नाउ बाय मेकिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट दैट सोनाली फोगट हैज डाइड आउट ऑफ कार्डियक एरेस्ट when multiple blunt force injuries are observed in her body and when i presume that a case of murder has also been registered no doctor is so brilliant to know the cause of death by seeing the news of death on whatsapp so chief minister by jumping to uninformed and uh, premature conclusions has not only brought about suspicion in this sensitive case but brought about a suspicion on the prefix that he uses before his name of a doctor dgp is investigating i think the postmortem is going on dgp will make the statement so uska family allegation kar raha hai i am saying that dgp is investigating सबने निवेदन किया है गोवा सरकार से और उसी कारण से हमारे निवेदन के कारण से एक सामान्य हॉस्पिटल से मेडिकल कॉलेज में विषय पहुंचा डॉक्टर्स का बोर्ड बना परिवार पहुंचने तक ये नहीं हो वो सब घटनाएं आपके ध्यान में है परिवार पहुंचने के बाद ही जो है पोस्टमार्टम हो और उसके बाद की कार्रवाई चली है निर्णय घटना गोवा में घटी है तो उस नाते से आगे के निर्णय गोवा की सरकार ने लेने हैं लेकिन हरियाणा भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार भी और संगठन भी परिवार के साथ है और न्याय हो इसके साथ All right now essentially the latest on this in on this case is that the case essentially there uh, a murder charge has been encompassed in the case has been has been included in the case essentially section 302 that is where the murder charge uh, has essentially been added to the case and this essentially comes after the autopsy report mentioned that there were blunt force injuries all over her body now this also comes in line with what the kin of sonali fogart has said they essentially did Uh, alleged that she was murdered and that she did not die of natural causes now this case is being taken forward as a murder case as we mentioned because now 
Section 302 of the IPC has been included. Now, I'm crossing over to my colleague Anshul Singh to get us more details on this. Uh, Anshul, essentially Section 302 of the IPC has been added to the case. How is this going to take the case forward? Can you explain the, how this is essentially going to, uh, how the probe is going to proceed? So yes, uh, late last night uh, it was informed to the press that Section 302 has been imposed against the two of his uh, employees. One of, one of his uh, a personal assistant was also actually arrested by the by the Goa police yesterday. In fact, has been taken into custody. He will be presented in front of the Goa uh, civil court today, where the police will be going to ask for a police custody office. Now it remains to be seen as to how for how many days is this police custody going to be given uh, to the Goa, Goa police. However, the body of Sunali Fogart has currently reached. Her, uh, uh, reached her hometown of Hisar. That body is still in the mortuary in the civil hospital in, in Hisar. In the next few minutes, that body will be taken from, uh, from, her, uh, from the hospital to her residence, uh, where the body will be kept for the public to uh, pay their la uh, last tributes to her. After that, at around uh, 11, 11 a.m., it is expected that the body will be taken for last rites. However, the family is constantly alleging that this is not a normal case of heart attack or natural death, but yes, this is a case of murder. And the uh, the, the two persons involved in this actually tried to uh, spike her food with drugs, after which they also alleged that they raped her and then uh, uh, committed this murder. Even in the post-mortem report that has come up, it, it, it has been said that there are many blunt injuries in her body. So yes, it remains to be seen what more details could come out because the uh, more details from the post-mortem reports are yes, yet to be come out and it is expected that within the next one week, those details will come out if there were ac actually any sort of drugs that were found in her body. Uh, so yes, all these details will come out in the next few days. But yes, uh, not only the Goa police, but also the Haryana police and the Haryana government ha has also gotten into this and the Haryana uh, government has also uh, told that there will be a few tests that will be conducted uh, over here in Haryana as well. So yes, the angle of murder has not been uh, given out and in fact the police has mentioned that in the FIR as well. So yes, it now remains to be seen if that angle is actually proven in the court of law. But as of now, uh, the body will be taken to her home where, her, uh, where uh, along with her family, her 18-year-old ailing daughter will, uh, will also see her mother for one last time before uh, the uh, body is sent before the body is sent to the uh, uh, for the last rites. All right, Ancho, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those details. Now, with that, we're heading into a very short break, but do stay with us.